Hey guys, it's me, Nikki, and it's time for a new Nikki's Wiki. Today's report is all about zoo animals. A zoo is a place where you can see animals from all over the world. I like zoos where the animals roam free in big open spaces with lots of plants and other animals to play with. There's one like that being built in Europe called Zootopia. Hey, just like the movie. Zoos have been around longer than you might think. All the way back in 1500 BC, a queen named Hatshepsut opened a zoo in Egypt. And ancient Greeks had zoos so that they could study the animals. Now, let's fast forward about a thousand years to Austria in the 1700s, where an emperor built a zoo that's still open today. That makes it the oldest zoo in the world. That zoo was originally a gift for the emperor's wife. Oh, I love zoos! Hold on, a whole zoo? Awesome! Back then, there was no internet, no TV, no airplanes, and no wikis. So, zoos were really the only way for people to experience wildlife from other parts of the world. But this is a wiki, and we can go anywhere we want. So, let's travel the world and see these wild animals in their natural habitats. It's time for a worldwide safari. This is the savanna, home to one of my favorite animals of all time, the African elephant. Elephants are amazing. They are super smart. Oh shucks. And can communicate from miles away by sending vibrations through the earth. Did you just feel the floor shake? Okay. Let's head to the Congo where my favorite ape lives. Introducing the bonobo. Bonobos are close cousins to the chimpanzee. Fun fact, bonobos laugh when they're tickled. <laughs> Cut it out, I'm ticklish. Now let's travel to Antarctica. Hello. Brr, it's cold, but that's good. It needs to be cold for the penguins who live here. Penguins are super cool. They're birds, but they don't fly. Instead, they swim. They also waddle, jump, and slide. Best thing about penguins, though, is that they look like they're wearing tuxedos. Fancy penguins. Where to next? I know. Let's go to China and see the giant panda. Some do still live in the wild. They mostly eat bamboo. Yep, pandas kind of look like they have eye patches like pirates. Arr! Next up, the Amazon rainforest of South America. That's where the toucan lives. The toucan is a colorful bird with a beak that's almost as big as its body. Toucans eat fruit and insects. Here, have a crunchy beetle. Ah, uh, no thanks. Last stop on our real life zoo adventure, let's go to St. Helena Island. That's where the world's oldest living animal is. Meet Jonathan, the 184 year old tortoise. He was actually given to the governor as a gift in the 1800s, back when people did things like that. Open your present, George. Why, it's a giant tortoise. How grand. Now open yours, Penelope. Oh, it's a tiger. To sum up my report, zoos have been around for a long, long time because humans have always been interested in animals and because, well, animals are awesome. But we have to remember that animals deserve our respect, especially when they're also our elders. That's right, you little whippersnapper. Hey kids, it's time for a brand new episode with the stupendous, stupendous, and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's episode, Drew and his buddies take a trip to the zoo, but something doesn't smell right. I'm telling you, it's that free range chicken they're feeding us. Didn't want to discuss the elephants in the room. No, 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 not that kind of stink. Just wait and see. And kids, see how many hidden penguins you can spot in today's episode. Maybe after the lions and the tigers and the bears. And the monkeys. Can't forget the monkeys. Hey, look, there they are. Aw, look how cute they are. <laughs> ah, oh, never mind. Monkeys are scarier than I remember. Hmm, that's weird. Monkeys aren't supposed to roar. Yeah, I've never heard of a monkey that roars. Wait a sec, is that a tiger chirping? Okay, I'm officially freaked out. Guys, I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure that zebra over there is mooing. Hold 
hold up, something's definitely not right here. These animal noises are all mixed up. He was right. Monkeys don't roar, tigers don't chirp, and zebras definitely don't moo. That's just basic nursery rhyme stuff. Someone's making these animals all confused and totally ruining zoo day. I better get to the bottom of this. Drew changed into his costume and went to investigate. Suddenly, he noticed a bunch of angry giraffes ramming into each other with their super long necks. Hmm, that's weird. I'll go see what's up way, way up. Whoa, I can get used to this view. Jerry, I told you this was a bad idea. Mooing zebras, chirping lions, only a matter of time before this zoo is all over the papers. All right, look, relax, all right? So they found a little different, big whoop. So the giraffes are the one behind this? Never would have guessed that one. Hey, did you hear that? Who goes there? I do. I am the stupendous stupendous. Huh, you ever see that guy? Uh, nope. Would definitely remember a giraffe with hair that good. Okay, still whatever. What are you hiding in the bushes for? Uh, I wasn't eavesdropping, if, if that's what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't until you just said that. Okay, fine. I was eavesdropping. But only because I was trying to find out why all the animals are making the wrong noises. Uh-oh. People know. We're doomed. Okay, okay, it was us. But it was Jerry's idea. All right, listen up here, giraffe boy. We're sick and tired of listening to all the other animals make up their super cool sounds. Well, us giraffes can't make a sound at all. No, sir. Look. Nada. So we used this cool voice vacuum machine that some girl sold me. She said we could suction up all the other animal noises and keep them for ourselves. A machine girl sold it to you? Yeah, about yay high, gray hair, kind of attitude -y. She said she vacuums up color for a living, but she was selling an old vacuum that works on voices too. Color vacuums? Had to be Grace Kale. Yeah, Grace, that was it. Anyway, the plant would have worked just fine until somebody got clumsy and knocked his long neck into the machine. Well, the voices flew back out and landed on the wrong animals. Ah. Everyone makes mistakes. Yours was a doozy. Okay, so this basically is just one big mistake. I can fix this. Just give me that machine. Whoa! Hold up! We're gonna get those noises back in this machine and finally have noises of our own. There's nothing you can do to stop us, all right? Right, guys? Uh, well, I was actually just gonna, uh, check out that tree over there. Make sure it, uh, tastes good. Wait for me! Fine! I'll do everything myself! But don't think I'm sharing any voices with you guys! Jerry totally ended up hitting the wrong button and suctioning up Drew's voice! And you'll never guess where it landed. I am the stupendous stupendous. <laughs> Drew took out his mighty penultimate and he drew a giant hand. <laughs> Phew! Never realized how much I like talking. You know, Jerry, I think you look really good in giant butterfly wings. Wait, 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 wait! No, hold on. Fa I, we can figure this out. Hey, that's no fair. I'm afraid of heights. Ah, no! With no time to spare, Drew switched on the voice vacuum machine, suctioned up all the animal voices, and released them back to their rightful owners. <laughs> Woohoo! All the animals are back to normal! Zoo Day is back in action! Hey, good work, kid. Yeah, you go enjoy those great animal noises with your buddies. Hmm, you know, there's this really cool noise that I think would sound great on you guys. This is awesome! Aw, thanks, Stu, the weird-looking giraffe boy. Hmm? All right! Hey, Drew! False alarm! The animals are back to normal again! Come on! Well, Drew saved the day again, kids! All the animals had their noises back, the giraffes got their own super cool noise, and Drew and his buddies had the best day at the zoo ever! More of the story, boys and girls! Giraffes just want to be heard too. So don't be alarmed if you see a giraffe blowing a trumpet. Just go sing along. And hold on! How many penguins did you see in today's episode? Did you remember to look? There's one penguin. Look, there's penguin number two. Ooh, there's number three. 
Don't forget penguin number four right over there. It's penguin number five. Whoa, almost missed penguin number six.